Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you uh, maybe how to do something but also kind of watch me do something. It's just like a half craft with me, half tutorial because I don't know how practical this will be for everybody but uh, I am a teacher as some of you hopefully know um, and that means that I have a lot of lesson plans and I like to keep them on thumb drives. Now of course I used to use uh, Google Drive almost exclusively and that was until uh, I went into school for like an entire week and the internet was just gone. I couldn't even access my PowerPoints. I had to find a lot of ways to create materials um, and use them without using the internet and so I really needed a backup. So that is what I have this for. This is all of my lesson plans on one little thumb drive. Um, of course that means I also have to be able to hold it and take it with me um, and I really wanted something that was going to kind of mesh with the rest of what I have going on I actually have a cactus themed room which I think is really cute and I think a lot of my students really like it as well um, and students often can recognize when things are mine if they have cacti on them so I thought that I might take this uh, thumb drive and turn it into a cactus. Um, so I'm going to actually mold some clay around it, turn it into a little cactus drive, and turn it into a keychain for my keys so that my students will always know if they have come across my thumb drive or not. So without further ado, let's get into it. A lot of you may also know I am not the best sculptor, but I do have some uh, polymer clay laying around. I've Y'all, I am not gonna lie to you. I tried this a hundred million ways, front ways, backwards, forward. I tried adding arms, I tried not adding arms, I tried, uh, you know, sticking my thumb in there, I tried rearranging the, the foil, I tried just sticking the thumb drive in there and hoping I could yank it out. I just could not make this look good and I really, really wanted it to look good. Um, and I've seen online, actually, I tried looking up if I could bake my USB drive, and uh, I found out, theoretically, yes, uh, but that person in their blog post had warnings that they didn't actually know how safe it was, even though theirs still worked, uh, and they had to obviously take it apart so that there wasn't any plastic around it, and it was just the, the board. Um, I didn't feel comfortable doing that, nor do I recommend any of you do that for art or any other reason, especially if you are not aware of the risks. So, um, as a result, I just kind of ended up switching over to air dry clay and I've used this clay a lot um, I've done phone stands I've done uh, you know just some various videos trying to use up the clay uh, I bought it for my Luna Lovegood costume I think a couple years ago at this point and it worked great then but at this point it's four years old and it's crumbly and it's frustrating to use and Frankly, I just kind of got irritated um, and ended up kind of scrapping the arm idea whatsoever. Um, I think it still turned out really cute and I think I managed to make it work, but um, if you want to try doing it with polymer clay, I would recommend having some sort of mold, uh, specifically a removable mold so that you can keep the shape or simply gluing a charm or something on top. I ended up scrapping the polymer clay idea because I just could not find the right way to keep this shape without it, without making it super bulky and that's just not what I wanted. So even though I really wanted to be able to bake this today, I decided that I was going to instead use air dry clay and I just molded that around it so that it will dry on it nice and easy, saves me the drama, and I put... I didn't uh, add the arms to it, partly because um, 
if you've seen me use this clay at any point before, this is that same bucket that I've been working on for literally years because I just don't do enough clay projects. Um, it is crumbly and old, so it just doesn't hold very nice uh, snake shapes in that respect. It kind of ends up leaving uh, like a layered, almost like croissant-like look. So I decided to scrap that entirely and just went on to the simplest form and cactus shape that I could, which isn't really the worst because it reduces the risk that I'm just going to break the arms off when I'm using it. I also think that I am going to um, add my key ring, jump ring, madu after it dries because I should be able to kind of create a little hole in there hopefully and then twist it in while it's hard and I think that will work just fine um, and I'll probably paint it and make it look nice and pretty. I think that this is perfectly acceptable. There's nothing wrong with this. I think the flower, I think the cracks kind of added to the texture of the flower in a way. I think I might actually even coat it with some clear nail polish after I am done or after it's done drying tomorrow just to make sure these bits and bobs don't fall off. But I think this turned out okay, I'm happy with it, and I am just going to let it dry, and I will come back tomorrow to finish it up. So, that is all. Until tomorrow, y'all. All right, day two, and everything is dry. You can tell, hopefully, I actually don't know if you can tell, um, but it is a lot whiter. Yesterday it was more of that, like, uh, kind of creamy beige color, and as it dries it becomes more white, which is great. Um, I did get a couple of cracks, mostly on the edges and corners. I have one, which is pretty slim. This one's pretty significant, and then this one back here, um, which also isn't so bad. So all I did there was, um, I actually found some nail glue, which I thought would be great for, like, kind of filling in those gaps and, like, fusing them together a little bit so that they're less likely to, like, dip in either direction. And I wanted to sand it. I think I'm only going to sand the back because it's got so much, um, texture, we'll say. Uh, I'm going to avoid the flower because I feel like it's also going to be really fragile. Um, I think the front is fine and maybe, like, this edge here. Sand that off a little bit just to make it nice and smooth and then we are going to paint. Alrighty, I've got a pretty good variety of colors here. I'm gonna hyperlapse through the painting. I'm not gonna explain it too much, but uh, just know that my whole kind of goal with this is I want for it to kind of look like this cactus. So it's got, you know, fully rounded and it's got like the lines in it that are gonna be a little bit darker. So marsh green around the outside, maybe some holly branch in here and then like um, alternating with some of that brighter green to kind of be like the outside tips if that makes sense um yeah and i think that's where i'm gonna go i also think it's worth adding that hopefully the paint will be filling in the appearance of the cracks completely and or covering it so that is my plan and it's time to get painting um i broke the flower while i was sanding <laughs> uh but we're just gonna we're just gonna keep moving even though it looks like it's giving you the middle finger so time to paint Okay, the last thing I'm doing, I am taking this teeny tiny little screw in jump ring. Um, I'm kind of sad because I only had silver um, keychain rings, but that is fine. I think it'll turn out a-okay. Um, and I've got a jump ring so that I can uh, make this opening a little bit bigger and then attach it to this. And I think because I have this section reinforced with glue because I ruined it when I was sanding, um, I think I'm going to actually screw this into the flower and let that be kind of the point of contact. So I'm going to speed through that and show you the finished product. Oh my god, this was a labor of love. I cannot tell you how many times I wanted to quit this, especially as I was trying to screw in my thing here. I got it through the flower and then it tried to go through the um, the super glue that I used to stick it back down and it just was not moving. So it's sticking out a little bit. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll add a little bit more super glue. Um, and it just, it took a hot minute. Um, I also, for some reason, was screwing this in first and then tried to add this jump ring after, which 
just ended up yanking it out because the super glue wasn't dry yet. So I ended up putting all that together, then super gluing it in. And it's obviously still drying, but it is holding, which I think is super important. Um, I wish the colors were a little better. A little better. Um, I think I wish that I hadn't awkwardly ruined my flower from that particular angle. From the front though, I think it looks good. Even from the back, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I like the gold. I think it adds a little bit of something. I'm glad I went over it with another layer of white because I think it looks better this way. I think it's really cute and I'm actually really, really excited to uh, pop this on my keys for work and actually start using it. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to let this sit overnight to make sure that this glue uh, hardens. I think it you know, takes 24 hours for it to be like fully secure. Once the glue is dry, I am going to give this a good spray with some acrylic seal and it should be perfect, but I think this is a good enough stopping place for me to kind of end this video and sign off. So thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time and I'd love for you to be there for the next one. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope to see you then. Bye!